In today's video we will talk about both the recently announced and unannounced buff of Argus on the advanced server. Same as the usual, we will compare both the advanced server version and original server version and we will decide whether this is a good buff or not. As we go through the video we will also share our recommendations on how to make this new version effective once it is rolled out on the original server. On this video, we will focus on the patches released last October 22nd and October 26th. In case you haven't seen the buffs they gave Argus on the advanced server last September 27th and October 12th, then we suggest watching these videos. The links are on the description. If you'd like more content like this, make sure to hit like, share, and if you haven't yet, subscribe to the channel. On the most recent advanced server patch, they buffed Argus' passive skill, Warmonger. Its base damage was improved from 155 to 200, while Demonic Blade, his second skill, received a buff on its scaling damage from 40% to 100%. As for the unannounced buff that Argus received, it was for his Malice Energy Regeneration. They slightly increased it by one point. It might not seem much, but it goes a long way especially since Argus can gain Malice Energy not just from one enemy, but from multiple enemies as well. Let's go ahead and compare both versions and see how much difference there is when it comes to his passive skill. Same as before, to avoid any discrepancies, we will use an emblem set that does not have any impacts on damage output. We will start the test with no equipment. In this test, the advanced server version 1. It might not seem much for some people, but this is a huge deal especially on the laning phase. Let's not forget though, that the version on the advanced server no longer gains permanent bonus physical attack from his ultimate. With that said, let's go ahead and test both versions at max level. Even at level 15, the advanced server version 1. Though the difference was negligible, keep in mind that the advanced server version performed better both at low level and high level without help from the bonus physical attack Argus gains from his ultimate. This means that the advanced server version is a more powerful than the original server version regardless of level. So far, the advanced server version is looking good. Let's go ahead and test Argus' second skill, Meteoric Sword. To keep things balanced, we equipped them again with the same emblem set so that their damage output is not affected. Let's test both versions at level 1 to find out who has stronger edge on the early game. At level 1, the original server version won by a landslide. However, that is only against players who are foolish enough to move around after getting jabbed by Argus Meteoric Sword. But against players who decide to duke it up with Argus instead of running away, the advanced server version is stronger than the original server version. Let's now test Meteoric Sword when Argus is equipped with items. To keep things fair, we equip both versions with the same set of items. I am altering the deal. Pray I don't alter it any further. Same as earlier, the original server version's total damage is far greater than the one on the advanced server. But then again, that is only if the player is foolish enough to move around. But against stationary heroes, the advanced server version is the clear winner. In our opinion, the overall buff they gave Argus since September 27th up until this point are good buffs. The buffs they gave Argus allowed him to gain Malice Energy faster even without his ultimate, and has also improved his outplay potential, thanks to the burst damage Meteoric Sword now has. The only problem with this buff is his reliance on critical damage items. Playing him with more attack speed items such as Golden Staff is no longer a good choice, which can be a horrible news against enemies that are equipped with Dominance Ice. To help Argus gain more attack speed and damage, we strongly believe this is the most ideal emblem set for him. As for the items, obviously, it is recommended to go the critical damage route. Try to balance your attack speed, damage, and critical rate in order for Argus to generate as much damage as possible while taking advantage of his passive skill. In our opinion, Wind Talker, Berserker's Fury, and House Claws are his core items. They work together really well with one another. 
Also, let us not forget that Meteoric Sword benefits from the unique passive of Wind Talker. Depending on the situation and your playstyle, the following items can be of great help as well. Here are some game highlights from one of the games we played on the advanced server as Argus. But that is What do you think of the buffs they gave Argus? Let us all know by leaving a comment down below, and if you haven't yet, don't forget to hit like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Stay safe everyone. Peace.